And a pretty stormy afternoon up in western North Carolina. Here's a live look at our Champion Hill Sky Cam. Dark clouds on the horizon up in Hendersonville. Lots of Henderson County seeing some storms right now as the rain cooled air uh, starts to move in. Uh, it's 73 degrees compared that to a much hotter upstate sunshine still out. So we're sitting at 90 in Greenville with a dew point of 70. So it feels like 95. It is very humid outside and whenever the dew points get this high, I'd like to call it the oppressive range. You know, 70 or higher is in that oppressive category for most of us uh, with the dew points this high. And that's the case all across the area. So the heat index pretty high in the upstate. You know, it's it's hot out there with the actual temperatures in the low 90s. Not unusually hot for early August, but that humidity really makes it feel hotter. Feels like 99 in Hartwell, 98 the heat index in Anderson as well as in Pickens. 95 is what it feels like in Greenville right now. But all that rain cooled air is helping us out in western North Carolina. Let's get a closer look at those downpours on live Super Doppler 4. Uh, lots of northern Greenville County right where the mountains begin getting some heavier downpours north of Traveler's Rest. Downtown Hendersonville probably about to pick up on some heavy rain here. It should be fairly short lived uh, with more waves of downpours than just a big uh, widespread uh, dilu deluge of uh, downpours out there. Parts of uh, Rutherford County near Chimney Rock getting some heavy rain as well. All this thanks to the south winds, which are still coming in, blowing in a ton of moisture off the Atlantic and the Gulf. We've got a sea breeze that is marching up to the northwest like we saw yesterday, already producing some storms towards Augusta and Columbia. So we'll keep an eye on that as that possibly triggers some storms for us later this evening. So on future radar, be mindful that uh, the radar may not look exactly like this, but more more often than not, it just highlights the chances of storms into the evening. So by 7 p.m., pretty good coverage of downpours more than likely across the upstate. By 10:30, 11 o'clock, most of that action should die down after we see the sunset. Tomorrow morning when you wake up, probably going to be more dry than not, seeing some sunshine, possibly some spotty showers, but uh, nothing really too crazy for the morning. If you do want to do stuff outside, the morning is the time to do it for sure. After lunchtime, we see more of the same with these pop-up downpours coming in during the hottest part of the day. Coverage should be pretty scattered for tomorrow. I'm going with a 60% chance of rain for the upstate and a 70% chance of rain for Western North Carolina for tomorrow afternoon. That pattern holds heading into the weekend. Saturday, 60% chance of storms. Uh, same for Sunday as well as those highs stay in the upper 80s. 70% chance for the mountains, not quite as hot, with highs in the low to mid 80s over the weekend. Still nothing in the tropics. This is the best news of all in the weather department. We just have nothing going on out there in the Atlantic, and it's been that way for a straight month where we've had no name storms in the Atlantic. And historically, the activity starts to pick up in early August. We're about here, and once we get into late August, early September, that activity should pick up as it normally does. So we'll be always watching it as we get deeper into hurricane season. Here's the next four days, of course, stormy with more heat and more humidity. Again, though, we're pretty close to the normal high of 90 with the upper 80s over the weekend, some low 90s next week as well. All in all, just typical summer mode just keeps on trucking along heading into next week.